Welcome everybody. It's the June second Saturday Art Walk. We're at the Manly Art Center here with gallery coordinator Rachel Gates and Garrett Smith. Smith, my mouth is getting in the way, who's running the camera. And we're here to talk to Dale Wells today, who's the featured artist. And hopefully, this will be the last time that we do this video, because I've heard that coming July 1st, the mask mandate may go away, and I think that means we might be able to do this live, hopefully. Anyway, but we're here now, and we're doing it video, and Dale, we've known each other a long time, so um, notice I'm without a cheat sheet today. I'm kind of, uh, you know, you know, just winging it, right? <laughs> and since we've known each other a long time, uh, I, I still don't know some things about you. Like for example, I don't remember where you grew up and went to high school, stuff like that. Uh, that was in Central Valley, California. Okay. Uh -huh. and was it Central Valley High? Is that what it's called? <laughs> no, it was Dinuba High. That okay. was the name of the town, Dinuba, out, out of Fresno, about 30 miles. Okay. Now, um, when you were out of high school and you had, you had a business later on, wasn't it an auto supply business or something yeah, like that? Machine, machine shop. Machine, shop, and machine then, shop, right. And then we had a small yeah. engine shop. Okay. That so is that one of the reasons why old cars tend to be one of your favorite subjects, yes. yeah. so it seems? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, I have a passion for cars, all, right. all kinds. Now the other story that, of course, that's around is that when you got started, it was because somebody gave you a gift of a art lesson. Yeah. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Melody uh, had. Uh, we were in a um, Michael's store in there, and he says, "What do you want for Christmas?" Because we, everybody has trouble buying presents. And I looked up and I saw the the uh, package that they had there, and it was a package of, of lessons. And I says, I'd like, to, I'd like to have that. So I jumped in and, and uh, started taking lessons from a, a young lady, and uh, I... But did she make you paint flowers? Because one of the things that's said is that in <laughs> yeah. your bio that oh, yeah. you, you didn't want to paint flowers. Right, yeah, I, I thought... That and now look at you. Yeah, oh yeah, nothing's sacred anymore. Okay. Yeah. No, so so how did that work out with you saying not I don't want to paint flowers? What did you end up, you know, giving in? Eventually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eventually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, um, I, you know, I, I just it was one of those things where I thought, yeah, that, that's what, you know. Sure. I'm not that flower kind of person, and that's completely reversed. Right. And that class you took was a watercolor class, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. right. And are you still doing watercolors today? Yes. Is that your primary medium? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, I never figured that I mastered it. <laughs> you know? It well, those I can understand that because I stay away from watercolors for that reason because they're hard to master. Yeah, right. I, I, uh, same way with the taking lessons. You know, I started out uh, when we came to Brookings uh, with Liz James mm -hmm. and uh, I have her book there, there in uh, my library, there at the house, uh, her watercolor book. And, uh, you know, I quit taking lessons after, after Liz's classes simply because I said, you know, she, she knows so much, she's taught so much sure. that I'm still, still learning. Right. Now, do you ever dabble or try other, other mediums and, and uh, w why not? I, I, yeah, recently I tried, about a year ago, I tried acrylics. Okay. And um, probably the same barriers as you would have with watercolors. Okay. Well, for me, it, it seems that acrylics are a lot easier to master than watercolors. And so, and I think if you spoke to most artists, they would say that. Mm -hmm. But you certainly can do things with watercolors that you can't do with acrylics and vice versa. Yes. And, and it is it is certainly a different uh, discipline for lack of a better word. Right. Certainly a different medium. Yeah. 
Now, do you ever do other things like sculpture or photography? Do you? <clears throat> no, not really. You know, and as of late, the last few years, I've been so involved with um, yard work and, and uh, other distractions that um, my time that I donate, you know, or I say I donate, that, that I do art uh, is usually in the mornings for a couple hours. And the rest of the day is always busy with something. Okay, okay. Now, um, what about your process? How do you go about deciding what to paint and you know you said kind of every morning but how do you decide what to paint uh, what the subject is and, and how do you do that well that deciding on a subject yes i've been blessed in the last few years with um, a lot of uh, you know requested work where i'm doing a um, uh, the word slips to me right now, but when you're doing a job for someone else. Commission. Commission. Right. That's the word. And remember to speak up. Okay. And, the, I, you know, I've been blessed with that. And I'll paint a, a, a beach scene, and somebody will come along or call me and say, I'd like that, but I'd like my dog in it, and I want, <laughs> I want my, my pickup truck in that same scene. Sure. And so... Um, Last year, uh, most of my paintings were all commissions, and um, I, I, I feel very fortunate that, that I have that. Yeah. What about size, and is there any particular type of watercolor brand or that you you like to use? And, Windsor, and what about Windsor, paper? What yeah, about paper? Windsor Newton is the paint that I use right. mostly. Um, I, uh, as far as paper, I just ordered a bunch uh, paper and I was experimenting. I ordered five sheets of this and five sheets of that and I have about four different kinds and I grabbed one the other day and started painting on it. It was horrible paper. Now, uh, what is it that made it horrible? Was it the texture? Was yes, it... the texture. Okay, was it too much texture or too little? I think it was too little and the paper didn't really absorb my, okay. my, uh, my watercolor. Now, do you ever use the kind of techniques where you, you do the wash at the top and you let let the, the colors run down? No, not much. Okay, I, so it's straight painting? I'm a, I'm a control. Okay, no, I, I understand that. I, that's why I like acrylics. Because <laughs> they don't run? Well, they don't run and, you know, you can paint on top of it. You make a mistake, you just paint on top of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I tried that and when I was trying the acrylics and boy, was I yeah. frustrated. Now, about the show that you have here, Mm -hmm. um, how did you pick the pieces that you have in this show? What, what is it about these pieces that made you want to put them in the show? Well, it's, it's kind of a uh, collection of everything that I've painted for a long time. Like the cars, I painted uh, these cars back here. I painted several years back, maybe 10 years ago. Is that a 56 T-Bird? It is. Okay. The gentleman so, here down. My older brother told me about that car. Otherwise, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Okay, and so uh, I brought a few cars. I brought uh, some of the boats that uh, Horace Wolf and I painted and even did a book on. Mm -hmm. uh, I love to do the Van Goghs and I like stirring two or three together. Yeah. Speaking of Van Gogh, do you have any other artists? Obviously, you, you admire Van Gogh. That mm -hmm. Has any other artists that have inspired you? <laughs> how about me? How about you? <laughs> no, seriously. How about the, the, any of the old masters or even modern masters? Yeah, I, I have some. How about Jackson Pollock? You, know, <laughs> you like Jackson Pollock? <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, I try to get a little bit from everyone. Okay. And, and I, I, I look at something and I say, that I like that or whatever. Um, but uh, Tony Couch uh, was a guest here for us for mm -hmm. one of our uh, watercolor society right. Oregon shows. I remember the name. And uh, uh, I was fortunate. I asked him if he wanted to join us for a dinner out at the house and and all. And then he invited me to join his painting class that I had joined. And and uh, that was that was uh, very. I learned a lot from him. Okay. Uh, just in 
Why don't you be specific? Can you can you say anything about what exactly was it? The use of color was it technique? What was it? Well, we're paying. Or he, we're, he's he's been doing this demo mm -hmm. entering, and he reaches down and he grabs some blue and he puts the sky in, and he says more than three strokes, and he says you've overworked it. Yeah. Okay. Th that kind of thing. And someone asked, "What color blue was that?" Mm -hmm. And he goes, "I don't know. It's just blue." <laughs> That's a, that sure. was his answer. Sure, interesting. Uh, so yeah, so the same with Liz James. You know, she she was a um, very high illustrated painter. And right. She, I have probably four of her paintings, and uh, you know, she she uh, influenced me probably more than anyone. Um, now, wasn't she Virginia Manley's uh, niece or something? Uh, sister. Sister, okay, even better, yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Now, back to your show here. Do you have a favorite piece in, in the show? Mm, I, I, I really like the, the painting here uh, that I did with uh, Zola's here. Okay, um, and that's more of a whimsical style. Right. So, and why didn't you put that on this wall? Does it, does, and does it matter to the gallery? <laughs> Coordinator, we 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 set the paintings around and take, kind of taking a look and okay. My, one of my daughters was with me and uh, we we just set them around and they happened to fit there and that's where they went. So uh, this with Zola's in it, what is it that you like about that painting? I think I like the colors. Mm -hmm. You know the the way that it it pops. It's whimsical, but. Um, in fact, the uh, gentleman that owns Zola's, uh, their new location that they have there, if you go in there, uh, that painting is a little bigger. We had a larger one made, and he has it hanging in okay. pizza play. So some of these are, are not originals? Oh, most of them aren't. Well, a few of them are. Okay. I'm, I'm, again, I'm fortunate enough that I don't have a lot of originals. <laughs> you sold them? <laughs> yes. That's good. That's excellent. Yeah, that's that's yeah. I guess the plan, sure. Now, one of the things I also seem to remember from your bio is um, talking about, you see painting as an adventure. Could you talk a little bit about that? Because that's going back to the process a sure. little bit. Sure, when I start to paint, generally I uh, do it on tracing paper. And the reason why is, is I can make a thousand lines on there and I erase all the ones I don't like. And, and so I'm creating there. Okay. Um, but I do my drawing on, on tracing paper and then I transfer it onto the watercolor paper. Okay, so there, there is that part of your process that is a little bit more thought out or uh, not direct, what is it? Uh, anyway, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> you do. Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, being creative with, with the idea of a lot of times I start in drawing something. Um, let's see, which one is it? It's this painting over here. Sunflowers? Um, yeah, I grew the sunflowers in the backyard. See, flowers, you, you those, can do flowers. Those, oh, sure. And so I, um, so I sketched them, I took them inside and I drew them up and I painted them. The first painting was absolutely horrible. I mean, it didn't, nothing went well. And uh, so I had my original drawing again on tracing paper. I put it on this paper here, and I actually painted the sunflowers, and then I went and I says, ooh, I've got a background for it. And it just popped in my head, pretty much. And uh, so I put a Van Gogh uh, foreground there. Okay. And, uh, but, so, you know, Liz always used to say, plan your painting out, you know, pick your colors, know where you're going, have a road map, so on and so forth. So many times I don't. I okay. Just, I just wing it. Right. And that's, that sounds like a, a lot of artists that we know. <laughs> it, it, it sure does. Um, what about, what would you like to add? You know, I'm sure I've missed a lot of things about your background and about the way you paint and about your art. Anything that I haven't asked you that you'd like to volunteer, you know, just bear your well, soul. Yeah, no, it, it's been a it's been a real adventure. Uh, 
the first time in the Brookings here, we were here at the South Coast Inn, across the, the alley here. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, I got my cup of coffee and I walked down the alley. I told Mally that I was going to stretch my leg. I walked in, walked around over here, and here's Liz doing a class. And uh, I poked my head in, and there she, she's, hey, come on in. She says, I've got everybody else here stymied. She says, they don't know what they're doing anyway. And, and that's how I yeah. met Liz, and uh, they were, she was doing a class. Yeah, and she was I, a wonderful instructor and person. Yes, yeah. Yeah, a lovely person, and her and Dorian both. And, uh, I, you know, we, we were just looking, we were on vacation, and uh, that was one of the magnets. I says, you know, I, I think I like Brookings a lot. Yeah, I think we've all come to that conclusion. Yeah. What year did you come? 99. 99. Okay, yeah. you were a couple of years after Horace and I. Yep. Because Horace and I came the same in, in 2000. Well, actually, we were here in 199 or 1999. I got those years mixed up again. No, 1999. <laughs> That's the same year as us. Now, most of your pictures are narrative. Do you ever do abstract? Have you ever kind of, do you stick to kind of narrative content? Or, you know, you sort of have a light-hearted, whimsical well, quality. Yeah, the sunflowers here is probably as close to abstract as, as I've done. Uh, and that was the stems yeah, there on the sunflowers. And uh, I was just experimenting and playing and, and all. But no, uh, I usually like to focus in on, on a subject, you know, within the painting. Yeah, and just um, looking at the show, it seems like everything is fairly lighthearted. Um, do you have any, do you think that you have sort of a lighthearted personality that carries into your artwork? Or? Abs absolutely, I, I call it my humor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, um, I don't know, I guess I'm a happy guy and I enjoy trying to, you know, put it on paper. And when somebody buys a painting or, uh, you know, expresses like on a painting, well, uh, it pleases me a lot. Uh, the, we call it Happy Jack, the donkey over here. Um, the gal that bought the original was here at the Festival of the Art, or not, the Art in the Park. Yes, she, right. She bought it uh, here. And uh, she actually sent me a postcard uh, well, a card, a thank you card, and a picture of this hanging over over her fireplace, and uh, you know that those kind of things are just priceless, and how they make you feel in here that uh, you know you you've actually reached somebody with through a painting. Yep, you bet. So, how are we time wise? We're good. Okay. Well, anyway, Dale, it's great great to see you and talk to you again. Uh, it's a neat show, and I'd like to encourage everybody to come by. We're open Wednesday through Saturday. Thursday through I'm sorry. <laughs> Thursday through Saturday from 11 to 3. And this is the Manly Arts Center. And see you again soon, hopefully live. Thank you.